Compax Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation for the Quadriceps. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation is useful for strengthening the quadriceps muscle in soccer athletes. According to Tara Dadge et al. 2014, Neuromuscular electrical stimulation training was effective in increasing muscle strength of the vastus medialis according to Canning and Greenier 2014. Electrical stimulation of the quads supports the regeneration process and results in a provable stronger reduction in atrophy according to Mucha 2004. Where do you place the pads for stimulating the quads? Rectus femoris. So you need two 5 times 10 cm electrode pads. Place the negative pad electrode on the proximal upper rectus femoris. Place the positive red electrode on the middle of the rectus femoris muscle belly. This way the current is running through the motor point of the rectus femoris. Fastest medialis. So you need two square 5 cm electrode pads. Place the negative black electrode on the proximal upper vastus medialis. Place the positive red electrode on the distal lower vastus medialis. This way the current is running through the motor point of the vastus medialis. Vastus lateralis. You need two square 5 cm electrode pads. Place the negative black electrode on the proximal upper vastus lateralis. Place the positive red electrode on the distal lower vastus lateralis. This way the current is running through the motor point of vastus lateralis. For the vastus intermedialis, you should get a contraction here with the rectus placements. Now you have choices as to what to do next. Ideally start with potentiation, which is 3 minutes long and the aim is to take the intensity up as high as tolerably possible. This is essentially a warm up for the muscle and nervous system, getting you ready for the workout. If somebody is very weak and chronically inhibited in this muscle, then use potentiation and then use a low frequency setting such as endurance, which activates tight one muscle fibers. If you are very weak and inhibited, then you may not even get a contraction at all, but stick with the low frequency stimulation and they should start to increase contraction strength from session to session. Each time keep trying to get the maximum tolerable intensity and during the session you should be able to increase this too. Once good contraction is achieved, then move up to the next frequency, which could be disuse atrophy, then resistance, then strength, then explosive strength. This increase in frequency will achieve more muscle fiber types. So high frequency and high intensity will gain the greatest motor recruitment. If somebody is already quite strong in the quadriceps, then you can go to high frequency straight away. You can use the machine passively at first, then advance to working with voluntary contractions. Just like normal quadriceps rehab, you can, for example, do squats, lunges, or even plyometric work. When using it passively, you can run the whole program length, and when performing voluntary contraction, then depending on your goals, you can apply training principles for strength, power, or endurance. You are likely to get delayed onset muscle soreness, but you can use the recovery or massage settings to ease or even prevent this. References